I keep telling people this. It is an area of active research. What is really truly meant by quantum measurement. The simulation you are going to run in um, today's lab, it's, uh, um, it's uh, from the approved curriculum. So it's teaching you the mainstream interpretation, which is known as Copenhagen interpretation, that posits a wave function collapse. That you have a wave function that looks like this. The moment you measure the position, the postulate is that wave function collapses into a form. So if you detected a particle here, that means your wave function collapsed with the act of measurement that now your wave function takes this form. That's the interpretation that the simulations you're working with in today's lab is based on. I'm not asking you to accept that blindly. I'm not telling you that's necessarily the correct final answer. I'm telling you that's what I'm required to teach you. <laughs> that's the mainstream interpretation, yeah. Yeah, um, so let me um, give you this, uh, re rephrase that question in a slightly different way. So you are wondering, all right, so, so you know, uh, let me clear this up, uh, reset. So you know that once the light wave hits the screen, photon was detected here, photon is there. All right, you accept that. So you are asking, where was the photon right before it hit, right? Let me ask you a slightly different question. Uh, which of these two slits did the photon go through? Does that sound like a valid question? Yeah, yeah so I think this, is, this should, should ought to be described in your textbook somewhere. So people do this experiment. So when you are doing this, once again, I keep saying that you would not see this pattern. So like, this is just an artist's rendering of what the wave must have been doing. So let's say you are not satisfied that artist's rendering. You want to actually see which of these two slits a photon is going through. So the only way to do that is you put a detector here, and you um, kind of try to measure, is the photon going through this slit, or is it going through this slit? And once you set up that experiment, you, once you set up your experiment to detect which of these two slits is your photon going through, or I guess your textbook might describe electron, actually. Which of these two slits your electron goes through, then um, the interference pattern gets wiped out. You don't actually see any interference. So you, see, so you will detect the particle going through either this slit or this slit, and the pattern you see is, uh, becomes very consistent with, um, with the particle interpretation of light. You see no interference pattern, you no, see no destructive interference, and that's actually related to the next thing I wanna talk about, something called uncertainty principle. And um, I said that this is going to be a theme in Physics 4C, that we are going to start admitting to some of the idealizations that we held in classical mechanics, that something could move as fast as you want it to move, Turns out it can't. Speed of light is the universal speed limit. And in classical mechanics, maybe we didn't this say this explicitly. There was this underlying assumption that you could make any measurement as precisely as possible. With the quantum mechanics, now there's an admission that even in theory, that's not possible. Even in theory, there's a limit to uh, precision. Actually, I feel like, oh, we had this already. We had this discussion. Resolution limit. Diffraction limit to the resolution limit, right? And I'm, it, this is kind of an extension of that. 